And good morning, good evening. <laughs> I scared you. <clears throat> good morning, good evening, good afternoon. This is FX Passion broadcasting live on <coughs> Trading View. And FX Passion Crypto Portfolio for Beginners Agent Session, everybody. So welcome, let's start. Remember, this is crypto portfolio for beginners, okay? It's not for advanced, it's not nothing fancy, it's for beginners. And to risk disclaimer, the webinars are not investment or trading advice, everybody. The webinars are for educational purposes only. Don't invest or trade money that you cannot afford to lose. Crypto assets carry a high degree of risk and are not suitable for all investors and traders. Always do your own homework before you act. Now, I'm not a professional on crypto, so don't ask me about, oh, explain to me blockchain, explain to me smart contracts, okay? But I am a technical trader and a portfolio manager, and in my opinion, the crypto market is going to produce millionaire investors in the next three to five years, again, in my opinion. And every first week, so the next week is going to be the first week of June, we are going to show you the portfolio's results. We have three portfolios. One is the aggressive, the next one is the moderate, and the third one is the conservative. And I'm having a lazy portfolio course every three months, okay? If you need more information, trading view house rules apply, you can connect me on the chat or below the streaming, you have the Gmail contact. And what are we doing? What are we doing here, everybody? Number one, we're talking about investing and not trading, okay, for beginners. And number two, we are talking about which crypto is going to double next compared to another crypto. So that being said, everybody, here is the question, right? And let's make a pool. Here is the question. Just give me a second. Here is the question text let's put it on 40 right here is the question if you would have a hundred dollars or euros euros or yen or brazilian real or whatever okay in january in january january 2021 how would you invest it in crypto assets, right? So this is the question, everybody. If you would have, it doesn't matter, right? It's just to be, to make it more easier. If you would have a thousand dollars, thousand euro, thousand yen, thousand <coughs> Brazilian guys, in january 2021 how would you invest it in crypto asset would you just buy one crypto asset would you spend it on different crypto assets you know what would you do remember everybody what we're trying to do here and this is for beginners we're trying to to invest okay in the long run we're talking about three to five years okay so if you would have a thousand dollars in January 21, how would you invest and what would, especially this is the next question, what would happen? So how, how would your portfolio, portfolio look like today, right? Now, of course, it's very easy to be smart because we see the future. Now, how would your portfolio look like today, right? So let's start with Bitcoin, right? And January, this is the, this is the weekly chart. Let's go on the monthly chart, right? So January 2021, November, December, January, January 21, right? So this would be the range, right? This would be the range and it's not bad, right? So in January 21, you would enter at 
27 if you were lucky, right? Or you would enter at, and this is a month, right? Or you would enter or on 41, right? So what would happen today, right? So let's double here and clone. Cloning here and, you know, one more time. Let's clone one more time where it's here. Clone, right? Here is the question, would Bitcoin, if you bought it and let's put this down in here. So let's make a horizontal line, 27 and here it would be 41. Come on, bring you. 41, right? 41 something and here it would be 27. Right, so how would this asset perform, right? So for 27, yes, sir, you would double the account, right? For 27, your 100 bucks, 100 dollars, 100 euros would double 41. 41 is a different story, right? For 41 to double, you need to go to 82. Agreed, everybody? So it really depends. And now, again, it's easy to be smart. Right now, today, everybody, oh, yeah, you know, if I would buy Bitcoin, you know, I buy, I bought Bitcoin at 41 or 27, right? It's easy to be smart. But, you know, if you would bought it to the, to, at 41 and today, right? What's the price right now? 55,000 roughly something, right? You know, so from 50,000, you know, passion, do you have Bitcoin? No, I don't, you know, not yet. And we're, we're going to talk about entries later, but here is the question, you know, if you buy it at, if you invest at 55, how long does it take to, to double, right? It's a no brainer, 55 times two, it's 110. Okay, and this is for beginners investors. Okay, here is the question. If you invest today, how long does it going to take to come to 110? What would you say, everybody? It's, it's going to be one month, two months, two years, six months, right? So this would be one. Now, because we don't know which one is going to spike and why, right? I don't believe that Dogecoin is going up and down because of what? My opinion, right? But I don't believe that Dogecoin is moving because what Elon Musk is saying, you know, when Elon Musk is saying, oh, Dogecoin is uh, hot by and everybody's jumping in. And then Elon Musk said the Dogecoin is a hustle and then Dogecoin is going to crash. I don't believe this. Maybe I'm wrong, right? But I don't believe this. And let's see how would Ethereum perform compared to Bitcoin. So monthly chart again, right? And January, November, December, January, right? So we have the high and the low of the candle and november december january let's say that i bought or 1300 1, roughly or if i was lucky right 700 735 or something so what would happen to the now you know if i would bought you with so let's compare the Ethereum Bitcoin, if I would bought you 27 with, with a low, right? Monthly candle low, Bitcoin 27. And until today, it would double. So it's a 100% profit, right? On the asset. And if we compare 7 to 4, and today is what? Right now, it's 3,800. So who is the winner? Right? Who is the winner? Is it Bitcoin the winner? You know, is it Ethereum the winner? Who is the winner? 
right? So from 700 to 3000, it's what? 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, right? 600 something percent. If I was late, right? The bad one. If I was late and I bought Ethereum at 1,300, 1, right? So just to double, just to double 100, 3,000, it was 260, right? 2,600 and come on, trading view, 2,600. 2,600 in here, 2,600 in here, plus one three, what with what? Three nine, right? 309, 3,900. So 3,900, so just today, right? I was late, we would make 200%. What about Bitcoin? Same story, you know? And this is for beginners, everybody. You know, I was late. I bought at 41. Did they double my account as an investor on Bitcoin? So what we are trying to do here, really, we are looking at different crypto assets, you know, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Litecoin, you know, XLM, Polkadot, Cardano, Misego, Dogecoin here. You know, next charts, it's a uh, BitTorrent dollar, you know, TRX, somebody said bought 700 reais in here. But look at the cost, 0 0.06 TRX, you know, Yoda, Pandi, Uniswap, Chainlink, it's moving right now, Matic, Waves, you know, and, and I believe we have one more. Okay, we are comparing the assets to gold, we are comparing the assets to silver. So we have here Ripple, SC, Binance Coin, Avi, and Cake. I'm not sure what about what is this one. And Solana, right? So here is the question. I We want to structure a portfolio. You know, I would not recommend, and remember these webinars are not trading or investment advice, I would not recommend to put everything in one basket, right? Why not? Because if you put everything in Bitcoin right now, oh, but I, I own my Bitcoins, yes, right? And what happened to Bitcoin for what? Let's go on the daily chart, right? Bitcoin didn't do much for the last, what, one, two, three, four. So starting, it was reliant until February 21, the 21st, and then from February 21st until February, March, one month, April, two months, roughly two months and a half is not doing anything, right? I mean, not doing anything, it's just sideways. Agreed? So as a portfolio manager for beginners, we are trying to we are trying to invest in crypto assets that we think are going to move faster, I mean are going to double faster than the other assets. Okay. So Ethereum and now Question, would you buy Bitcoin right now? Would you invest in Bitcoin right now? My personal opinion, Bitcoin is going to, to be, because as a, as a portfolio manager, we want to what? We want to outperform different portfolios from different uh, asset classes, right? So you could have a portfolio of stocks, right? Whatever stocks you have, you could have a portfolio of stocks and you are questioning yourself as an investor, you know, how much, how is my portfolio doing? Am I making 10% per year, 20% per year? Am I making 50% per year, 100% per year? This is the question. So Bitcoin right now, sitting at roughly 55,000, 
right? I believe he's going to go to 100, yes, sir. But the question is, uh, the question is time. I don't believe Bitcoin, maybe I'm wrong, you know, nobody knows this. If your friend is telling you, oh, I know, tell him that come to class to FX passion, right? And we're going to have a chit chat. Nobody knows when this thing is going to move. It's all speculation, okay? But I don't believe that it's going to go from 55,000 to 110 this year. And that's why, in my opinion, Bitcoin is going to be interesting to be part of the portfolio when and if it comes down to 38, 39. Make sense, everybody? It's nothing special, right? It, it's just a fair support level. Okay? So Bitcoin, it's a portfolio investment. It's, part, it's going to be part of our portfolio if it goes to 39. If it's continued to rally, 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 it's not going to be a part. Why not? Because every time that we enter, we are looking at time, how long it needs to double. Okay? What about Ethereum? Is Ethereum a buy right now? Talking about investing and not trading, everybody. Don't mix the two, right? Maybe yes, maybe no. Nobody knows this, right? But if it's going to follow the same way, and this is what we know so far, the crypto market is going to wave too. So this is going to be a level of interest, right? And But talking about velocity, right even though it's 388 it's moving much 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 faster than bitcoin so it's possible because we are in may it's possible that an investment at 3800 it goes to 8000 inside this year right how do you know passion how do you know we don't know we are just assuming, right, based on how fast it's moving so far. I mean, it moved so fast for, and this is the monthly chart, one, two, three. You know, you can make an average out of this. So 1,800 to 2,000, so it's 1,000, right? Looking here, it's uh, 2,700 to... 3,000, so it moves a thousand, looks like it's moving a thousand dollars per month. And if it's going to keep doing this, it's going to go from 3,800 to 4,800. And it's going to go from, come on, trading view. It's going to go from 4,800 to 5,800, right? 5,800. So this will be what? One month, two months, two months, 5,800 to 6,800, 6,800. And trading view again, 6,800 in here and less. So talking about months, right? If it's going to keep doing what it's doing, it's going to be what? Let's clone this, clone is going to be one month, two months, three months, clone, and one, two, three, four months, right? Do you see everybody the logic between Bitcoin investment and talking about time and a theory invest it is just an example right so let's make a pull who in here it's more favorable in investing in bitcoin and who in here is more favorable there is no right or wrong don't be shy everybody there is no right or wrong we are here to talk okay and remember there is nothing wrong or having one asset class or the other but as a portfolio manager that you want to outperform different portfolios from different asset classes, we are looking about time, right? 
And in this comparison, let's look, let's have a look at Cardano. Same logic, right? Monthly chart or maybe weekly chart. You know, if you would put your thousand dollars, thousand euros, you know, hundred dollars or could be a million, it doesn't matter really. And if you would put in January, right? January 21, this would be the price, 0 0.3 right 0 0.3 and today right now it's 1.6 so from 0 0.3 to 1.6 how many times would your portfolio double triple or quadruple 0 0.3 0 0.6 100 0 0.9 200 1.2 300, 1.5, 400, 400%, right? And again, talking about time, we can go on the monthly chart. This is not that synergetic as Ethereum, right? But still it has potential. Now, it's a different story if you if you understand what you're looking at. It's a different story with Ethereum, and it's a different story with Bitcoin, right? And it's a different story with Cardano. But what this shows everybody, what this approach is showing, and this is beginner stuff, talking about investing, is that Bitcoin was not the best performing asset, talking about cryptocurrencies, you know? Ethereum, are, Ethereum did better, Cardano did better, right? Dogecoin, of course, <laughs> All right. it did better. Now, let's see Litecoin. If I would invest $1,000, $100, whatever, right? 1st of January or 31 of January, where is January? October november december so this is january it's a little bit different you know so the low is at we're going to take the weeks in consideration so it's one two 122 and let's say that i was up in here right i was late i i could have bought it at what 170 and just today right it's 360 so if I was late, 122, double, 100%, 244, right? I would make 300% until now. If I was late, you know, 170 is 240, right? And it's still a hefty profit. So one more. If I would invest no everybody come on i'm not against bitcoin right but this is beginner stuff how to manage and build you know portfolios as an investor you know so by this default you, you can you can pick everybody any no i'm not <laughs> i'm not against bitcoin but you can take most of the crypto assets and compare them and just pick a date because back in time it was just bitcoin 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 you know and there is no right or wrong you know every investor it's a little bit different every investor has a different strategy you know i'm not going to tell you buy bitcoin and i'm not going to tell you not to buy bitcoin you need to do your own homework but right now you know, I believe Bitcoin is not going to reach $110,000 in this year. It's simply, maybe I'm wrong, right? How do you know exactly? I don't know, right? Stefano, should I buy Ethereum? Long term, yes, sir. Long term, remember this? Webinars, ASIN sessions are not trading or investment advice, everybody. Okay. So 
I believe Ethereum is a buy. And remember, we are trying to, we are going to monitor. I believe the crypto market is going to produce millionaire investors in the next three to five years. Okay. And this is for beginners. I'm going to show you everybody that you can invest a hundred bucks, whatever, hundred dollars, hundred euros, hundred yen, whatever. And in three to five years, okay, you can make a lot of profits. And, but it, you need to know what you're doing, everybody, because if you are going to build a portfolio of crypto assets that are not moving or that are not moving much, right? Then it's going to be a different story. Stefano, in my opinion, Ethereum, yes, sir, long term. Okay, we are talking about investing here, not trading everybody. Don't mix the two. Okay, long term. Why long? Buy Kerna. Kerna, let me see if I, I have this one. I'm going to explain to you in a second, everybody. Okay, so let me see. Car, crypto. Nimesh, I don't have this one. Okay. Now, this is for beginners, everybody. Are, are we clear on this? Now, why we are talking about years and we made a similar session this morning it was the new york session you know if do you remember everybody the first bitcoin frenzy the first bitcoin frenzy was here you know and i know some people who made fortunes up in here no not me i know some people who made fortunes and i know some people who lost fortunes and this is bitcoin in 2008 okay stefano this is for you my friend okay and of course the people who are buying bitcoin back in time at 19 what 19,000 18,000 and it come back down you know and they got scared which is okay it's normal right and they were like oh my god we are losing money and you know, the wife and the, the husband got stressed. You, you know, look at what are you are doing. We are losing money. And I was telling them, just stay in, you know. So these assets, and this is for beginners to understand, these assets are not losing until you sell. Babel, should I hold my 5K vet or buy 10 link and 10 dot instead? Great question, but we're explaining this in the course, how to build different portfolios, okay? But we can look at the charts in the meantime, okay? And and have a, make an opinion. I was thinking to buy right now some Ethereum after the dip would be actually pretty good. Everybody remember this can happen again. Okay, this can happen. Why we are talking about three to five years? for the professionals or maybe the one who lost the wallets and didn't sell the bitcoin when it was crashing from 18,000 to 14,000 to 8,000 i mean come on let's be honest who would not get scared in here right but if you would just wait and wait and wait and wait right if you would buy Bitcoin at 18,000, the worst possible time, right? The worst time. If you would just patiently wait from, and yes, it was suffering from 2018, right? You would make a hefty profit by now. Everybody, this is my personal opinion. I, I don't believe that any crypto asset Maybe I'm wrong, right? I'm not talking about trading. I'm talking about investing. I don't believe that any crypto asset, you know, should be only for one year. I believe you need to have a broader spectrum, a long-term approach of three to five years. And I'm telling you, this here, two, three years can happen again. It can go down to 
39,000 and it can go down to 19,000, 20,000 and stays here for the next three years and then it's going to move back up. Okay? So Stefano, this is not an investment suggestion or anything. I believe Ethereum is great, but in the long term. Because everybody, this is beginner stuff. The markets, what we must understand, the markets must wave. And the crypto market is waving as every, every other market. So, you know, maybe it's going to go up, up, up until 7,000 and then it's going to reiterate, right? The markets must wave. It's not going to go just straight up, like forever. Okay? Babel, 10 link and 10 dot. Polka dot, right? Polka dot. And link is chain link, right? If I'm wrong, please type in the chat. No, it's not polka dot. Okay. Let's see polka dot, everybody. We have 15 more minutes than I need to go. So polka dot, daily chart, weekly chart, monthly chart, right? Monthly chart here, weekly chart. Okay. So polka dot, it's a buy right now. Okay, and again, it's long term, right? I believe Polkadot is going to double, okay? Maybe this year, maybe next year, we don't know. So far, it's not doing much, right? This is the weekly chart, but we have alarms here. So this is the alarm. Come on, trading view. This is the alarm here at 160. You know, and the next is going to be 160, is going to be 3,200 up in here. Okay. And chain link, right? Chain link. Okay, chain link. Where is chain link? Dogecoin, maybe here. Chain link. Okay, chain link. And what is VET? Vet, let me see if I can find Binance, Cake, Solana, Avi. Let me see here. Vet, Vet chain, right? Vet chain, Vet dollar crypto. Vet chain, Vet, V chain, Vet, Vet dollar. Just give me a second. You know. Okay. V chain vet. Oh, it's V chain. Sorry about this. So it's not vet, it's V chain. V E C V chain. Uh, US dollar. Okay, there you go. Just give me a second. Well, I would say chain link, it's if, if this was me, okay, chain link, it's okay, polka dot, maybe long term, okay, I will not go in, in polka dot yet, not yet, okay, and again, everybody, it's a matter of how fast your portfolio is going to double, triple, or quadruple, right, so polka dot is sideways right now, and I would go in polka dot only once it breaks this higher high. Okay, and it's not moving right now. Okay, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right, you know, we don't have the crystal ball. Okay, I would stay in that bubble, and, but I would go into long term, everybody. I would go to chain link. I mean, I am in chain link already. Okay, I'm in chain link already right and the question is again you know how long it needs to double everybody there is no right or wrong you need to you need to structure portfolio okay and and have a goal I, i'm going to i'm doing this everybody and i'm going to show you three different portfolios every first week in the month 
Some of them are one-time investments, okay? It's like, okay, if I would put a thousand dollars and spread it through multiple, not every, but multiple currency assets, and there is another portfolio that it's, it's going to build up with monthly payments, you know? Without being a crypto expert, meaning, you know, you don't need to know what is blockchain, you don't need to know what is smart contract, right? You know, but in general, this market is moving and is going to move for the next five years until it's going to be big enough, and then the regulators are going to step in, and then the circus is going to to start. Right? We are going to see all all the cryptos going to the moon or we are going to see all the cryptos going down to earth you know makes sense everybody right now the crypto market we are you don't know this or maybe you do but the crypto market we are in the early stage if you would look at the size of the crypto market everybody and the size of the other markets this market is still tiny 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 and everything that seems so expensive, you know, we are just in the early stage of everything. Okay? But I'm telling you, this is about, this talk It's about investment. Okay? Not trading. So, if I have a job, you know, if I'm John from the USA, or if I am Tia, from Japan or, or China, you know, and if I have a job, right, I'm not a professional trader, but every month, you know, or I have some savings, or every month I have 100, 200 dollars or euros or yen, or every month I have 10,000 euros or dollars to yen, you know, and I'm looking where to invest, right? Should I invest in stocks? Should I invest in commodities like silver, gold, whatever, you know, or should I invest in cryptos for the next three to five years? And my bet, and this is the correct acronym, my bet is cryptos. Okay, maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong, I don't have the crystal ball, but cryptos, you know, and we are working with some funds everybody who are investing in cryptos the funds who are invested in cryptos outperformed every single asset class dca i'm not sure if i understand correctly because there are too many of them right let's see here dca dca is this the crypto no okay Sorry about this. And here we go. So we, we talked about Ethereum. We talked about Bitcoin. I'm going to buy for the portfolio if it comes down to 39,000. If it keeps up going up and up and up, I'm never going to invest in Bitcoin. Dollar cost to buy in. Yes, exactly. It's a great strategy. Okay. Litecoin and Polkadot, you know. Dogecoin, right? I'll be very honest with everybody. I'm afraid of Dogecoin, okay? Because, you know, of course, we're talking about being lazy, right? Not lazy that we are not working, but lazy that you don't need to be an expert, you know? Dogecoin, you know, maybe it's going to rally too, right? But it's moving up and down. And yes, I am in Dogecoin, right? But I'm afraid because talking about the functionality, right? I, I'm not sure, but I'm talking to some expert and they were saying, oh, this is, uh, this is an experiment, right? It doesn't have any real technological value right maybe some of you guys are better at this and you can type in the chat you know what is dogecoin my information is that dogecoin is just a project you know with no intrinsic value makes sense 
but I'm not an expert, you know, maybe some of you have more information. So, but talking about portfolio management and investing, I am investing in Dogecoin too, right? So when you have a portfolio, everybody, you have something like, come on, you have something like this, right? And you can spread it in as much crypto asset as you want, right? And if this portion is Dogecoin and it goes back to whatever, not to talk about zero, but even if it goes to zero, right? It's just a portion of the portfolio. You have Ethereum, right? Making you 400%. You have Litecoin making you 500%. You have Chainlink making you 10,000%, right? In the end, it's the average of the portfolio. Dragon, this means dollar cost averaging means buying a bit of an asset as a set interval so you are not as affected by large swing in the price. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But still, FX expansion, would you dollar cost average on Bitcoin? No, I would not. Why not? Time. Time is an issue. I can dollar dollar cost average in Bitcoin, right? But if Bitcoin stays here, come on, trading view. If Bitcoin stays here, what am I going to understand with my portfolio? Why would I dollar cost average everybody in something like this? Sideways until now. Yes, it's true. Oh, but it can go to the moon. Yes, it can, but we don't know when or where right when i first bought into bitcoin it was 61000 so in order to double right it must go to 1200 i mean 120000 right this is why i'm not in bitcoin not yet and i'm not going to be it can go to you must understand the game everybody what is the game in portfolio management price and time you know somebody's going to buy at six sixty thousand you know and it's going to go to 120 in my opinion yes sir but if it's going to go in two years right it's still a good result why not two years hundred percent it's a good result but this sucker in here maybe is going to go you know in two years to 400%, 500%, right? I mean, in the end, all of those are going to be winners if there are not going to be any special fundamental changes in policy or regulators. Make sense? Because we are at the very, very, very early stage. You know? So dollar cost averaging, it's a great strategy for beginner investor, but still you need to do the homework, right? And you need to decide for yourself, but I'm going to show you my portfolios, everybody. Every first week of the month, why every first week of the month? If not, it's too soon, right? But from one month to another month to another month, you are going to see what happened with a thousand dollars, right? how much it went up or down, an aggressive portfolio, how much it went up or down, uh, a conservative portfolio, and how much it went up or down, a balanced portfolio. And we are going to do this, everybody, for the next three to five years on TradingView. So if our portfolio from 1,000 comes to 100,000, then what and you are not there you are not there you didn't listen you didn't study right yeah nobody's going to die of course not but it's a pity right if you can make from a thousand dollars thousand euros thousand yen thousand yuan, one thousand brazilian real whatever if you can make from a thousand one hundred thousand in three to five years isn't this good money, everybody? Would you be happy? 
not to talk about monthly investments if you can right and word of caution these crypto assets carry a significant degree of risk but we cannot explain to you here we are going to explain this in the course what are the fundamental risk that would be great it's an opportunity you know in my opinion three to five years before the regulator start to look at this market like crazy and heavy and we have the good news and the bad news right what is the good news some investment banks all over the world you know are allowing their clients to invest in crypto assets and some owners of those banks are the governments this is the good news what is the bad news governments want taxes and if they cannot regulate crypto assets what do you think is going to happen bitcoin is not going to be 50 55000 anymore bitcoin is going to be 2000 again and ethereum is not going to be 4000 it's going to be 700 and litecoin is not going to be 344 it's going to be 77 it's enough one country everybody to stop doing stuff that we're going to explain to you in the course and all of this stuff goes down you can still have your bitcoins <laughs> you know but what are you going to do with them you can have your polka dot and cardano and dogecoin you know you can have all the crypto as you want but if a government says you cannot do this and this and this and that anymore then what pickles don't you sleep this is not a course pickles we're going to have a course 18 of june okay this is not a course this is just a session we're having two sessions per week just to keep track of different cryptos how are you pickles long time no see we are going to have a forex course this week too the next lessons 32 31 okay everybody my time is up i hope you enjoyed this asian session we're going to have the next on thursday okay we have the new york session and the asian session and we are going to talk about how to structure a portfolio how to you know what currency pairs are better good us is requiring report of a crypto yes if you're honest what if you're not right i have some friends pickles you know and this is all legal by the way you know i have some friends who have companies uh, those guys are usa citizens but they have companies outside the usa and they are investing from outside and they are not obliged to report legally it's all legal you know you need to have a tax advisor and just move and do business according to the law dragon pickles isn't that only if sell it or it's even holding it guys if you're not professionals i would suggest you to talk to a professional tax advisor okay everybody this goes to all of us right don't do stupid things you know obey the law okay obey the law just do everything according to the law right it's not worth believe me okay everybody see you next time thank you very much this is fx passion saying to you goodbye and see you next time not I, I cannot say trade with passion because we are not trading here we are investing okay but see you next time thank you very much have a good night have a great day bye bye